Hello, I'm Eddie Jones, ambassador for Air Arms. Today we're out in Staffordshire again. We're on a farm today. We've got a mixed array of species that we can shoot. I've been controlling this for about 25 years. We're going to have a walk around, see what pests we can control. The farmer doesn't want everything eradicated. We'll only take a few of what we see. You've got to be careful when shooting around a farm. We've got a mixture of livestock on here, cattle, horses, goats. There is a working farm, there's other people work on here, rent buildings out. So we've got to keep safety in mind today. While we're about, I'll show you the different things to look out for. We've got rats, rabbits, doves, wood pigeons, jackdaws, and we'll show you why we're controlling the pests on the farm. Hopefully we'll be able to shoot a few pests today, but if not, the main objective of this is just to give you an idea what to look out for on the farm. Like I say, it could be in there. I'll look for him in a bit, look. There's a way in over there, so he might be here, he might just be in here. So while you're having a walk around the farm, just have a walk around the edge of the barn, sheds, anywhere like that. You see here we've got some rats working in under the shed. We've got some old silos here, so any old wheat that was still in them, it's a perfect food source. I have shot quite a lot of rats around here in the past. Because the cattle are in the sheds still with all the snow we've had, it's still not good enough to put them out. The fields are really wet and soft. So I've still got to wait before I can start around these sheds. But it's perfect signs. Just a bit further around, we'll show you a bit of activity again. Another good sign to look for while you're walking around the sheds are droppings. Got some fresh droppings here that was probably from this morning before it got light. Rats are very nocturnal, so where you can get the odd ones in the daytime, definitely come at night, have a walk around with a torch as well. You'll find them, but where you find the droppings, the rat ain't going to be far away. So this is what the farmer's feeding the cattle with, a bit of supplement there. But this is what the rats, the pigeons, jackdaws, they're all after this. It is an expensive game in the winter when you've got to keep them in. It's very hard to spot a rat dropping in the middle of that, and it's not the best thing for a cow to eat. And they do carry disease, and it ain't just us that can get the disease, the cattle as well. So we don't want farmers having rat droppings in the feed. So we've had a few jackdaws just landing in the barn in front. Very tempting to take a shot. We haven't got much of a backstop. We've got the straw, but then you're getting lead in the straw. We don't want that because the cattle are eating it. The railings behind, we could have shot one off there, but we don't know what's behind. Anybody could walk past that barn just as we pull the trigger. We're not going to take any shots in there simply because we could hit one of the cows. Safety is paramount on a farm, not just for people, but for the animals as well. So while we've been going around the farm, we've had the lady across the road who's got horse stables. She's asked me to clear some rabbits, but I'd like to see the point of view from the stable owners why we need to control rabbits. I've been here for about four or five years. I love animals, I can't bear them being killed, but it has got to the point that the rabbits are just making my life a misery. They're digging up my fields, my path. I've got a horse, she means a lot to me, and there are huge holes in the fields. If we don't do something with the rabbits then my horse will break a leg and it's important to me that I call in the professionals rather than someone that's going to perhaps not kill an animal cleanly so that's important to me. As you can see here we've got a quite an extensive rabbit warren. It's a good time to go out now while all the brush is down, walk around your ground and just check how big these warrens are getting. This had about five or six holes in last summer I used to shoot them from just over there, wait for them to come out and shoot them off the warren. It's tripled in size, if not quadrupled. So while it's down, go around and check your ground and you'll find exactly how bad the rabbit population's getting. I'll certainly put in some close attention to this warren this summer. Because we're around the farm today, I've chosen the Ultimate Sporter. I've had the Ultimate Sporter two years now. Beautiful gun, very well balanced. Still fitted with the Orc Sidewinder, the 3 by 12 by 50 I've really got to like this scope. The half mil dot really works for what we need with air rifle shooting. It's in 177 calibre. It's as accurate and deadly as any 2 2 out there. The good feature about the Ultimate Sporter is definitely the cheap piece. It can move in any direction. 
and you'll be perfectly lined up with your scope. The side lever, my favourite action of the Air Arms range. You can't fault the side lever, it's very smooth. There's no clicks or noise to scare anything when you're reloading. So it cycles the pellet perfect every time. It's light, well balanced and it's very accurate. So this is a perfect rifle for what we're doing today. So we've had a look around the farm. Hopefully you've seen what kind of pest species that we control, what signs they leave behind to give us the edge, know where they are and where we can set up to get them. You've got to be careful around the farm. There is people working, so safety is paramount. We ain't gone full round in full camo. We want to make sure they can see us as well. We managed a couple of shots on some collared doves. I know the farmer likes to see the odd pair around, so I'm not going to eradicate them. Jackdaws, they've eluded us today. They've gone from one barn to another to another. They've not given us safe shots. I wouldn't shoot one where the cows are. Next time I'll be in position, hopefully, to get a shot and just take a few out for him. We're going to keep on top of the pest around here now, right through the summer. Hopefully that'll make the farmer happy and the next door neighbour.